Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we are checking out our second Marvel Gear and Goods crate. Well, it's a rainy, gloomy day here in Britain, but we are checking out our second Marvel Gear and Goods crate. As I said in the first video, crate covered in this awesome artwork, Thor, Iron Man, Captain America, got Black Widow, we've got Rocket Raccoon, uh, looks like we've got Iron Spider on there as well, looks absolutely awesome. Now, let's get on get it open and see what we've got. So we just cut the seal open and okay now this crate as far as I can remember is the Thwip crate which means it's Spider-Man and the first thing I can see is looking like it's in Spidey colours and it looks like it's a wearable of some kind And it looks like a sleeveless hoodie, a sleeveless spider hoodie. Um, in mostly in spider blue, let's call it, with spider red trim at the bottom. And you've got the hood there as well. And the spider logo on the front. Got two pockets down the bottom, and it's a, a pullover one rather than a zip up one. So that's a good start. I'm loving that. Okay, one spider hoodie to start us off. Next item, looks like it's a bag, it's a little drawstring bag covered in spider webbing and it looks like on the other side we've got a variety of spider items. We've got a camera there, we've got a, a notebook of some kind and possibly some sort of footwear down there. So there is our second spider item, a little drawstring bag. And next up we've got a cardboard tube, which I'm going to guess has got a print in it of some sort. And it is a multi-spider print by Matthew Waite. And there we are, a multitude of uh, ver various versions of Spider-Man there. I can see the Iron Spider there with the arms. I can see Spider-Man Noir there. Uh, I can see Spider UK. So there we go, Spider-Man print. We've got our Thwip pin featuring Spider-Man in action. go and Spider-Man in action there with Thwip across the top. It's a little spider pin and next up we've got a little spider box with the, uh, the logo from his original black costume, the alien costume as it was called, which is saying it is a symbiote Spider-Man folding phone stand. Oh, this looks interesting. Okay. So, <laughs> so we've got our webbing there, and that is obviously where the phone sits. And then on the back, we've got Spidey there. So that obviously stands like that, and you just sit your phone in there. And I guess you could use it like that to watch videos on or just to have it sat in there while you're flicking through it or just leave it propped up there for the night or while it's recharging whatever so that is pretty cool looking a little symbiote spidey phone stand okay let's see let's just stand that up there we go and we've got is that our spoiler card um 
we have got a little promo card it looks like for the new PS4 Spider-Man game and we've got a print I think and it is our spoiler card with our Spidey artwork on the front of it. Peter Parker's personal life may be kind of a mess, but as Spider-Man his style is nothing short of spectacular. So what did we get? We got our Scarlet Spider sleeveless hoodie. Uh, so Ben Riley may have been a clone of Peter Parker, but he was definitely his own man when it came to the costume. This casual cosplay hoodie was inspired by Scarlet Spider's unique look. So that's what that is then. That is our sleeveless hoodie. is based on the Scarlet Spider sleeveless hoodie. We have got our Secret Wars Spider-Man phone stand. Uh, so it's the based on the costume first introduced in the original uh, Secret Wars crossover series. Uh, the black suit which eventually as we all know, becomes Venom. We have got our many costumes of Spider-Man poster. We have got our Spider-Man Spider web pack cinch bag. It's called, I was calling it a drawstring bag, but Spider-Man web pack cinch bag. And we have got our Spider-Man thwip pin as well. So there we are, that was the contents of our second Marvel Gear and Goods crate, the Spider-Man Thwip crate. If you found the contents of the Thwip crate interesting and you want to go and check out Marvel Gear and Goods for yourself, I will put a link in the description down below. It costs £39 to get them shipped over here to Britain and they come out once every two months. If you enjoyed the video, and I hope you did, hit the thumbs up below and give us a like. You can follow me on Instagram for photo updates, including all these items here. And if you don't want to miss out on any future openings, unboxings, anything else I get up to, including checking out the next Marvel Gear and Goods crate, then hit the subscribe button. And hopefully I will see you in the next one.